Hello, and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2 featuring the Thunderbolt Ack Guy, a unit that might have been uh, extensively modified by Xeon Remnants on Earth to remove secret agents. It's meant to be very uh, modular in way with so that they can put different equipment on. But this version is uh, it's quite interesting, and it's more of a generalist. And I'll show you real quick. Then, um, well, let's go to the two real quick. Then you would expect um, for a raid of this manner. Uh, let's start off with this. It's a 300 to 350 cost, ground capable only raid with a priority three melee, a ballistic beam and melee resistance of 12 standard, a range strength of 18, a melee strength of 19, a movement speed of a very nice 130, and thrust gauge of 60. For parts, we got close range of 9, medium of 8, and long range of 7. For equipment, we have the arm-mounted Vulcan TV Thunderbolt which uh, is pretty nice. It can build up stagger pretty quickly. It doesn't hit super hard, but Vulcans at this level don't tend to. We have the, surprisingly, Arm Beam Saber TV, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, it replaces the claw that the standard uh, act guy would have. It has, a, I think, slightly longer range, but that might just be an illusion. We have the Rocket Launcher TV times 2 it fires in a staggered manner. Uh, it will build up stagger really, really fast, and it hits fairly hard. Um, it's a really nice weapon to have. And I know it's also got auto tracking to a degree. Then we got the double beam saber, so you can uh, go melee, then switch over and go melee again. Though there is a little bit of oddity to the maneuvers, which only get more on and how they they operate with the <laughs> rl gel tb times two it's it's a very interesting it goes with your fizzy yard skill and uh, we'll get into that but keep that in mind when we get to the fizzy yard skill all right for skills we have leg shock absorber level two assault booster level two emergency evasion system anti-blast stabilizer high performance balancers forced injectors always nice melee combo controller level one surprisingly stealth anti-jamming special head buffer because you're still going to get hit in the head a lot and here we are fizzy yard which uh Wolf. While Fizzy Yard is deployed, damage taken from enemy attacks is reduced and damage reaction to attacks other than toppling attacks or tackles is reduced. Also, the level is increased for stealth skills and firing spread effects are negated, but movements are affected by drift. You will slide around with that skill activated. And it can be, you're going to have to get used to uh, that. It is nice that it will team up with your stealth and make it harder for people to notice. Boy, it's a pain in the butt sometimes. Then we have aquatic mobile shooting. What is my opinion of this unit? It is, in my opinion, a massive improvement over the Ack guy. I love the Ack guy as a unit. It's just one of those units that has a, a presence in the one year war that I've always enjoyed. The mole suit, as I used to call it. But this one just has a better set of skills, a more rounded set of tools. And I think it's going to be more in line with pe what people expect from a raid, even at this level, in degrees of man maneuverability and usability and you don't have to stop to use some of the weapons that it has uh it's a very mobile suit so in essence it's a balanced ack guy and so let's see how it does in the match to come hey everybody how's it going um well we're gonna be showing this one off the this was an interesting little match and i believe uh the underground base i forget what, what this map is called 
but it's a, a suiting map for this unit to appear in, I gotta say. Um, I admit, I was not sure what to uh, think of this suit when I initially uh, was starting to, to uh, test it out. But I'm going to pop the fizzy on <laughs> which is that uh, little shimmer on the suit. And I uh, I got to admit, it, it is an odd thing to uh, put in place. So I'm going to zip around. And I'm gonna try to get behind the, uh, their their team here. So I got the beam saber ready just in case someone was here. And uh, I'm gonna move right up to this uh, this area because I wanted to get to their support, who I'd been hoping would be in the back. But you know, get what you get. So I'm gonna switch over to the missiles, uh, miss our shots. I'm going to come in to give uh, him a little bit of a smacking, smacking in. Uh, <laughs> the Dom Barrage is going to, uh, to tag us. And we're going to give him with a little bit of that melee goodness, but not finish him off just yet. Um, ooh! <laughs> that awkward VM. He's trying, I'll tell you that. And we're going to get smacked. We're kind of stuck in the middle, unfortunately. And like I said, this unit can be... Um, Red or brittle, honestly. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to try to take advantage of that situation. I'm going to get countered somehow. <laughs> um, yeah, that, that was weird how that happened. It played out. That won't be the only weird spot with uh, that particular unit involved. So, uh, we didn't quite get our target, but... He was pretty close to getting uh, taken out. Our team was at least suitably uh, aggressive. And we're going to spawn in here. So, here we are. And, um, well, we're going to just try to, to help out where we can. We're going to smack our guy a little bit. And we're going to keep coming in on this guy. But <laughs> this is the hard. He's making it so difficult. I just keep sliding and I'm trying not to. You can see it as I'm kind of struggling to get the unit to go the uh, directions I want. We're going to smack uh, the doll a hand a few times and uh, he's going to get away from us. Initially I'm going to try to take a few shots into the water but uh, I wasn't quite finding an angle I like. So I've got to pop some rounds. There is a guy that spawned in at A, but uh, I wasn't paying attention to him. So I'm going to wait for a second. I'm going to drop in here, use the boost to uh, get around. We're going to smack, I believe, the, uh, the Dominance. I believe the GM Dominance. Maybe the Aquatic one, I can't remember. Uh, we're going to keep popping rounds into him. And, uh, Ooh, we're going to miss our, ch our counter charge, but he's going to be a little too uh, timid there. So we're going to be able to finish him off with some of the ranged weapons. We're going to throw some uh, stuff into the back of that guy. And I'm going to fumble my, uh, my weapon switch. Just pop a few rounds in there. And I'm going to be trying to help our guy here. But it's not going to work out how I want it. He's going to roll out of that. I was uh, trying to, to get him to do that earlier, but he held off on it. He was punched in the face. And we're dead again. So here we spawn in again. And we're having a bit of a rough patch with this unit. So we're going to try to go in, but he's going to get killed. We see this going on. We're going to charge hit this guy he's gonna roll out it is because ridiculous it's like an action unit come down down and give him a little bit of the thrust thrust master anybody else remember those joysticks i do and uh we're just gonna do what we can i see a guy down here so i'm going to oh he's the poor dom barrage he made a bad choice trying to outshoot me in this regard. And, uh, well, it's not going to work out for him. Come in, give him a little bit of a smacking, smackaroon. He's going to get taken out. 
we're, we're having a hard time getting those. <laughs> so we're activating these fish shield. We're going to get a little bit of a drop on the doll hand and use this uh, landscape to our advantage. Um, they know I'm here, so I can't quite do what I want to do. And I'm going to uh, catch him in a counter. Oh, nice. Take those sabers to the crop chiller region, apparently. And I'm going to uh, move around here. I'm going to do a little bit of firing. I don't know why he came forward. My guy is going to block me. And then, what do you mess with a pocket gun dominant? Gonna just keep flying in some rounds and getting punched in the face. He's gonna die. We're gonna die. We're dead again. Hooray. Well, we're spawning in again. This match has uh, been a bit rough and hasn't been quite what I would say is one of my better ones. I'm gonna fire a few rounds over. The uh, Dom Barrage is uh, still up there being the Barrage. Barrage in a way. Fire some of our rounds. That's a decent damage from the uh, head. Head Vulcan. Come in. We're going to uh, roll. Catch him with a side spike and an overhead. He's going to do that. Our dude's going to come in. It's going to become a complete cluster. And uh, we're going to get back up. And I'm going to decide it's time for the barrage to die. And we're going to pop rounds into him at the end there. Make sure he's gone. And we'll pop some rounds down there to help our guys out. Drop down. But we're going to be a little too late on that guy. We're going to catch the, uh, the one dominance in there. He's going to go down. We're definitely having a hard time getting uh, kills, I'm going to say that. we so come around the corner. Do a side swipe. Take that guy out. I'm going to come back around and uh, well, I'm going to play around the boxes because I don't want to get hit by the bazooka. I'm going to get smacked once. We're going to do this, hit him with that, and the match is over. So let's hope we did well in this one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there's our, um, yeah, that's a pose, all right. Two board spots, nice. And second place somehow. Well, it was an ugly match, but thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.